What's up everyone, welcome to Mythic Pursuit. It's December, that means a new month and a new contest. So since I started out my small YouTube channel, it's grown more than I ever thought because of the overwhelming support that you guys give me. Um, this month, I wanna continue that growth and try to hit my goal of 100 subscribers. I know it seems like a lot, but I know we can do this together. Um, if we can hit 100, I will do a mega giveaway in December. I'll take all the subscribers, put their names into a pot, and I'll draw five. And the five can win prizes that are varying. Some of them include the Dragon Shield card sleeves um, with the Sierra Nevada art brushed artwork. And then another one is the Secret Layer Drop Series Prime Slime, still sealed in the box. So the, like I said, these are just a couple of the prizes you could win out of the mega drawing. Uh, so let's just see the channel continue to grow. I appreciate everyone's support. Enjoy the video. What's up everyone? Welcome to Mythic Pursuit. Today we are continuing with Commander Legends. We have an entire collector booster box to open. So let's go ahead and cut this wrap off and see what we got inside. Got my lucky knife here. So make a small cut, tear it off. We're still looking for the Jeweled Lotus Man, uh, Mana Drain, Vampiric Tutor. If we can get them extended art, extended art foil, that'll be a big hit. Um, these things are going for about 300 a piece right now, so we definitely want to get our money's worth out of it. All right. 12 packs. I'll set them over here. Let's get right into it. Oh yes, the freaking pack that don't want to open easily. These things are tough. All right, there we go. Oh, I'm excited. Are you guys excited? This guy doesn't look very happy, but I'm super happy to open this. All right, Gilvis Commons, Elena Kessig Trapper, and Bell Borka Spectral Sergeant, nice spirit soldier. Rings of the Bright Hearth Foil. That's a solid, solid rare. Not as much as it used to be, but it's still going for about 10 to 15 right now. So solid pull there. Love that card. Acidic Slime. Oh, and the Opposition Agent. Full art, or extended art, excuse me. Look at that beautiful card. I know the regular version's about 15 to 20, so this one's probably fetching a pretty penny also. What a great start. Uh, Malcolm Kenai Navigator. Ravo Soul Tender, solid, solid uh, Orzov commander there with the partner. And Averna the Chaos Bloom. Craziness, okay. Let's try and sort this all out. So we'll put the Mythics in one pile and we'll just leave all the rest in another for time's sake. But Opposition Agent, Extended Art, solid way to start this video out. All right, come on. Okay, near. Wild Celebrants, Brass Herald, Monstrous Onslaught, and Arumi of the Dead Tide, Miara Thorn of the Glade, and Hole Breacher. Nice, another solid rare. Um, so those are the two most expensive rares, I think, in the set. Arcane Denial, Extended Art. We will always take this uh, counter spell. Great commander card. Laboratory Drudge. Pretty average, but love that artwork. And another Miara Thorn of the Glade. And a Xenagos God of Revels, the Etched. Wow, love that mythic. I actually have a commander deck. And I think I'm gonna replace the regular version with this one just because it's so beautiful. Love that. And Sakashima of a Thousand Faces, are you kidding me? This thing is uh, pretty expensive right now too. Um, really, really good rogue. Um, and it has the partner ability, so great pull there. So double mythic with the, in the etch slot. Didn't really know you could get that, so that's awesome. Double mythic pack. All right, well, we are starting off really, really well. Let's continue. I always want to pull from the top, but at the bottom is just the way to open it on these. All right, we have Portent of Betrayal. Cutlass, 
Let's get to the good stuff here. Victim Eye, solid card. Hamza, Guardian of Ereshin. Ascension and Rejuvenating Springs Full Art Foil. Look at that. That is a beautiful, beautiful land. Love that. Thought Vessel. Okay, solid, solid. And Amphin Mutineer. Eh, kind of an average card, but fits in the pirate build, so we'll take it. Abomination of Land of War for the etched. And Zedru the Great Hearted. Not a super big fan of this commander, but I know a lot of people like to play it, so it probably is, has a decent price, but just look at the etching. It's beautiful. Can't say that enough. And Nevenral or Borg Tyrant. I can't wait to throw this in a deck. It's definitely an uh, interesting card to build around. Very sweet. And a Salamander. All right, so got one Mythic in that one. And we'll continue on. Can we hit the Mana Drain? I have not opened one yet. This is my third opening. We have yet to get one single mana drain. Ooh, look at that. All right. Command Beacon. Solid land. Very, very nice. Myriad Landscape. Not the card I really want to see in that slot, but we'll take it. Court of Grace. Have a court for each color, and these are uh, the Monarch cards, so it's pretty sweet looking. Uh, Numa, Draga Chieftain, and Maelstrom Wanderer. Don't know how much this is going for, but it's a really sweet commander with the double cascade. Um, there's a lot of cascade in uh, this set as well. S glad to see that com coming back for sure. And Kodama of the East Tree Etched with a treasure. So not bad for the mythic there. Okay. Need some money pulls though. We started out really, really well with the Opposition Agent, Hole Breacher. We need to get something good here. Cast Down, Arcane Denial, not bad. Essior, Ward Wing Familiar, Nadir, Agent of the Dusk now. Aurora Phoenix Foil, not the greatest um, card that you want to get in this slot, but that art is just beautiful. I love that art. Burnished Heart. Uh, extended art, solid, uh, I guess, mana ramp for um, non-green. And then, and Wild Captain, wow, a lot of extended art in this pack. And then we have another Nadir, Agent of Dusk now, and Silas Wren, Seeker Adept for the uh, legendary human, nice. And Jared, True Heir, with another treasure token. All right, so getting some decent pulls here, nothing too special, but we'll... Keep pressing on. I'm feeling good about this pack right here. Gotta have something good. Here we go. Come on. All right. And Leah says Shroud of Dusk. Solid. Uh, you can pay two life instead of two for each time your commander has been played from the commander zone. That's a solid card. Soul of Eternity, and eh, probably 50 cent rare. Command Tower, extended art, solid. Love that art. Definitely go in uh, all my multicolored commander decks. Austere Command, <laughs> extended art, look at that. That's a beautiful card. Very, very nice. And Captain Vargas Wrath, like I said, I've got a few of these and I'm definitely gonna use one to make a, a pirate build because he's just really, really solid, especially for only two. And Queen Marchesa, or Marquesa, however you say that. Love this with the Monarch. And Hans Erickson, look at that guy. So happy. Very happy guy. And a Spirit. Okay. Solid pack there. Nothing crazy, nothing crazy. Come on. Can we get a money hit? Jeweled Lotus Extended Foil. That's all we're asking for here. Is that too much to ask? All right, skip through the commons. Ooh, Finhorn Elves. A braid, okay, okay. Pretty sweet, and it's foil, oh. The foiling is not as pronounced in uh, some of these. It's pretty subtle, actually, but it still looks beautiful in these cards. Love that. Togo Goblin Weaponsmith, Galatian Powerstone Engineer, Training Center Foil, I will Always take these lands anytime we can pull them. I mean, they're great, and I know they're going to go up in value over time, um, just like the Battle Bond did. They're too good, and they go in 
any commander deck running the colors. Path of Ancestry Extended Art, nice. And Scroll Rack, there we go. It's probably top five uh, most expensive card in the set for sure, and it's Extended Art, so very, very nice hit there. We'll definitely take that for uh, our Mythic. Very nice pull, love Scroll Rack. Put that there, okay. Then we have Anara Wolved Familiar, Rakdos Lord of Riots. This is actually one of my first cards that I used to build a commander deck around, and I love this card. Rakdos, um, it's probably might be my favorite guild. Sorry about the camera there, um, but yeah, this card is just really great to play. Got a six six demon, flying trample, makes creatures cost less. Really solid uh, commander, and Crack the Thumbless. Nice Goblin Wizard. All right. So that was a solid pack with the scroll rack. Definitely paid for itself. Let's see, are we halfway? Oh, we're a little over halfway. We got five packs to crack. This video's going by pretty quick. Okay. Defiant Salvager. Preordain. It's not bad. Get to the good stuff here. Root Weaver Druid. If you want some... Uh, Lands for everyone, uh, but you want the triggers for your Omnath, maybe. Pretty solid card. Uh, Kumbaj Witches, not excited about that. But Rejuvenating Springs, lovely, lovely art. Extended. Dargo the Shipwrecker. Look at that guy. He does not look happy. The lobster and whatever that is. I don't even know what that is. Ooh, Vile Smasher the Fierce. Very nice for the etched with a Queen internet meddler that's it all right not too bad another Rakdos commander solid card all right four packs left can we get something big come on mana drain jewel lotus i know we got it come on see say drain give us good luck here give us good luck come on jury master of the review not bad immaculate magistrate for the elves, mole drifter, eh. Vampire Tutor Extended Art. There we go. Woohoo! Look at that beautiful card. Extended Vampire Tutor. I know this thing's not $100 like it used to be. It's been reprinted in this set, but this is one of the best tutors in the game. And it's Extended Art. First time it's been extended. Beautiful card. Love it. Great, great pull. Super excited. Yes. All right, and then we got a Prismatic Piper, eh, Eureka, the Tiger Shadow, another solid pull, and a Nimrus Unistrictor, so the double, or we got the rare and the mythic, that's right, forget the order sometimes, but this is a solid ninja for sure, with the ninjutsu, really excited about that Vampire Tutor, come on, can we get a Mana, mana Drain or Jeweled Lotus would just be the cherry on top, come on, here we go. Opal Palace, okay. Three Visits, Foil Extended Art. This is a really solid uh, card for fetching a specific land, so we'll take that. Captain Vargas Wrath, Gen Arcanum Weaver, and Dawn Glade Regent. Mm, it's all right. Monarch Veiled again, but it's expensive for the Elk. Coiling Oracle, and Rakasha Debaser. With Siani, I have the Storm. Ramos Dragon Engine, that's a solid commander right there for the Dragon Artifact. Legendary creature. And another Arkham Weaver, really? You gotta get two in one pack here. One's etched, I guess, but still. Not super excited about this one, if I'm being honest. I know some people really like it, but it's just not my, uh, my style, I guess. All right, two packs left, everyone. Can we pull them? Come on, which one should we go with? Go to the left. Say the right one for last. Here we go. Bring us luck. Come on, guy. All right. Myriad Landscape, Extended Art Foil, sweet. Wirewood, Thrash, Jew Lotus Foil Extended Art! Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me! What? This is the most expensive you can get. Mana Drain might be up there, but holy crap, you gotta be kidding me. Woo! We did it. Did I not say this guy would give us good luck? He did it. Look at this. Foil, extended art, 
Jewel Lotus, the prize that we wanted and we got it, everyone. Look at it. Oh my gosh. Woo we did it. Oh, nice. Hey, look, a Swords of Plowshares, too. No, it's not no uh, foil jeweled lotus, but we'll definitely take it. And Kamal's Will, extended art. Uh, Arumi of the Dread Tide and Ran, Last of Abzan, and Uriark Scorch Thrasher. All right. Oh, my gosh. Okay, hold on. I got to get a sleeve for this. This is, this is too good. Oh, my gosh. All right, all right. Hold on. Be careful with it. Be gentle with it. This is amazing. This thing is, I mean, last I looked was going for 150, 200. It may have gone down significantly, but a foil extended art. I mean, that might pay for part of the box, if not all of it. That's a great card to pull. Okay. All right, last pack. I don't know if we can top that unless this is a mana drain or something crazy, but let's see what we got. Got some value here. Charcoal Diamond. Command Tower, always take that card. Prismatic Piper, Return to Dust, Extended Art Foil. A solid uh, removal for white for sure. Eye of the Storm, Chieftain, Jessica's Will. Ooh, Timber Battle Rage, like that in the Extended Art. She looks really angry. Wrong Turn, have not pulled this yet. Really excited about this card, glad we got it. Um, target opponent gains control of target creature. That's really sweet, I like that. And then we have a Kedis Emberclaw Familiar with a Xur the Enchanter etched. And the Elegith Crossroad Augur Sphinx. Okay. So got some more Sphinx action. Not too bad. Okay, that was a solid little pack. Nothing too spectacular, but some solid, solid pulls uh, with Xur for our Mythic. But we got it, everyone. Oh my gosh. Super excited about that Vampiric Tutor. And this thing just came out of nowhere. Look at it. Foil. Extended Art Jewel Lotus. The crown jewel, if you will. Super excited to pull it. Thank you, everyone, for watching this and enjoying this with me. I love doing this for you guys. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, like the video also, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>